Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So what you're looking at here is the top of the inside of the outside of the eight-year-old Perkins attached thunderstorm generator. And it has this incredibly interesting encrustation at the top. It's obviously yellow, as you can see. This is some of the black area we looked at in the previous videos. But uh, it has this pentagonal structure in the center. Uh, and it has this ring of spots around that. Then obviously this more um, consistent layer of yellow material. And then these kind of overlaid uh, wave patterns uh, going on out here. Now, one might think possibly that this is sulfur because we have seen in Lena systems two oxygens fusing to sulfur, but it could also be yellow iron oxide. So um, the jury's out, but maybe in the coming days we will know more about that. Anyway, so uh, if we look through this, uh, you can see that even outside this yellow area, there are these white kind of waves. OK. Now, the other side of this is here. And at this angle, you can see that it even has some geometry, uh, some sort of geodesic nature to it at this size. So if you go back to the previous shot, you can imagine that there's the vortex spinning around in this chamber. And this is the toppermost part. OK, so we're going to have a look. And for me, what was happening here is something uh, was either occurring during the vortex process uh, that was depositing this here, or uh, it is condensation of water at the end of the process at the topmost part of the thunderstorm generator. And then it dripped from somewhere here down, as you'll see in the next shots. So this is a little way from the center, but on the other half. And the idea is that it would drip from there onto this spot on the outside of the inner part of the thunderstorm generator. And it is interesting because this is very yellow. And obviously, this is more sort of what you'd expect from an iron oxide. But uh, what we can certainly say is that as you follow this down here, it does look like a fluid has left a deposit of something. Uh, as it goes down under gravity. So here we go, it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. And then it hits this seam, the weld seam, and it runs around the weld seam under gravity in my view. And then it comes down here to the other side and it again comes down and it meets this point and then drips off onto the other side of the thunderstorm generator. Conceivably, you could imagine that it was um, the other part was uh, yellow as well. I don't have it on this video. OK, uh, there is also this area here which had a thicker incrustation. I did take a sample from that uh, post taking this video. And uh, it focuses in there. So this is a little bit more encrusted and we have some video of that as well, a little bit more macro. So you can get the overall impression of what's going on here. You can see the lines of how this has been manufactured. So this is where um, Malcolm had polished off an area to have a look at that thickness of the encrustation on the outside of the inner sphere. Yeah, so at this angle, actually, you can really see the kind of overall geometry here. It's kind of like down there, across there, and up there, and so on. So it's, it's not quite what you'd call a perfect circle. Again, very lovely yellow marks on here with this wave pattern. Again, on this side, we see the intensity of this yellow. Is it a yellow iron oxide or is it sulfur? Hopefully we will find out next week.
down there, running round, and coming down here. That is about that. So, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you in the next video.